Okay, hi friends. Uh, this is Rajeshwar Rai Patil, and I'm I'm starting a series of videos about top 15 algorithms. Now uh, I want to start discussing with this daily profit KPIs. Okay, here this is this is provided by uh, Tableau itself. Uh, if you search for tab top top 15 algorithms. You will get you will be directed to this page and I'm discussing the third one. See here. Here in this what do you, what do you want? Now monthly basis, every month of the year, on every month, month in a given month, I'm just refreshing just a moment. In any in a given month, he wants the number of highly profitable days, the number of profitable days, and the number of Unprofitable. See, in the month of Feb February, they have six highly profitable days, and nine profitable days, and twelve unprofitable days. Okay. Now, when when we are actually trying to solve this, the main problem what we will get is how to get this. Now, what I did is, now what they want is uh, day wise, right? So we uh, many of them as might not have observed but we have here something called as custom date now in the custom date I'll go ahead and I'll ask for month day year okay I'll get every day wise okay now see if I drag it in here I'll directly get my month day year as my custom date so you can get your custom date directly like that if whenever you require now I'm dragging my profit I'm dragging it in text no, see, see uh, e, they are having six. See, on third gen they have a profit of six dollars, whereas on fourth gen they have a loss of sixty six dollars. So this is how it is shown on a day wise. Now the problem is when I when I move this to month, when I move this to month here in this order date, or I I'll, I'll create another custom date here with the custom date with year and month okay now see if I drag my month in here again they are getting aggregated I don't want that to happen now when I say my date when I say my date which is this when I say my date which is this and I add all members now you are getting all these members and their their profit and loss, their profit and loss. Well, their every day wise profit and loss is coming in here. Now, I want to fix it this, fix it this level because see, I'll just write a calculation, create calculated field. Now I'm saying profits, profit double. Okay. Now I'm saying fixed. Or not that, not even I'm not, not even going to anybody. If sum of profit profit greater than zero, then one else zero. And I'm writing some if condition. Okay. Now I am just dragging this profitable to here. Now if you see all the profitables got one and all the unprofitable days which are leading into loss I got zero right this is what I got in here now I will I here I have day wise now see here these are ones now the problem is when here in this he is asking at the level of month not at the level of day but here we have at the level of day I drag out this day and uh, day wise and I drag in month wise again what is happening the calculated field profit whatever the calculated field that we have already created is again acting at the view level view dimension level again it is giving if the month is profitable it is giving you one if the month is not profitable it is giving you zero but that is not what we want so that is where you should think okay now I should fix my calculation at that day level okay you are getting my point you have to fix your calculation at the day level now how do we fix that now see let this be here or I'll drag in this out and put the day in here okay 
now see I am writing a calculated field okay uh, day profitable okay now see here I am saying fixed now where do I want to fix it I want to fix it at the level of day every day level so that is why the custom date I created here will be useful for me now in this what do I want if sum of profit greater than zero and go into the next line to be clear okay if sum of profit greater than zero then one else zero why am I taking one and zero you, you will get that clarity in a while now the calculation is ready. what are we saying at the day level at the level of day I want to aggregate all my profits and if the profit is greater than zero then give me one else give me zero now I'm just going for apply and okay. now I am dragging this day profitable into this field I'll just adjust so that these two will become side by side now see here this, the, both of them look same see when I'm talking about day the direct profitable with the direct calculation of if and the calculation with fixed calculation both look same but the difference that you'll see is when I drag month in here yeah. the difference is when you drag your month in here now if you see the profitable whatever we wrote the profitable let me open profitable see this calculated field we wrote it with simple if else now this if else whatever we wrote is now aggregated or now showing at a level of view this view now here sum of profit is at the level of month so it is showing at that level whereas our uh, fixed calculation whatever we have uh, day profit this is actually showing you an aggregate now every one is aggregated then there are total 17 profitable days in the month of January that is what it is showing so as I already fixed it at the level of a day now I am having the values at the level of a day which is one and that one is being aggregated and is showing 17 now this is the reason I used one and zero because then I use one see they have 17 days so 17 ones are aggregated and we got a total of 70 okay now see this is the total number of profitable days that we have in here the profitable days that we have in here now on the others on the other point on the other point uh, see here on the other point now we want to see you see I just want to see if what I got this 17 is right or not so I'll go to the next sheet and I'll drag this in here add all members now I will drag day profit and I'll put it in here. now in the January if I calculate in the January if I calculate see here from here to here how many ones do we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 17 now if you see for the month of Jan 2015 we got 17 the same way you can calculate for every month so you will get the, the that the same values in here okay we got it we got this day level profits now again we know now we need day level losses also see here it is total of three now we'll do only two because the other thing you can easily do so I'll just this is profit and I'll want just want to show the loss now I'll just duplicate this day profit now edit see here what I'm doing is day loss now here when I'm doing this rather than greater than zero I'll put here less than zero now what am I saying whenever the in the day wise level when the profit is aggregated 
if the profit is less than zero, when the aggregated profit, not profit, aggregated profit is less than zero, then give me one else zero. Okay. Now I'll just apply. Okay. I'll just come to this field. Here we already have that uh, day profits at the day level, right? Now I'll take the day loss and I'll drag. Now see, wherever we got, wherever we got loss, that that it is showing as one, else it is showing as zero. Now the requirements of my my things are done. Now let's see here. Now I am dragging my month of order date, order date, and I'll keep it here. Continuous. See, this is continuous month, right? I'm keep putting my continuous month in here. Now. I'll drag my day profit. This is my length fill line line chart I got now, and I will drag my day loss. So one below the other, and which where they showed it as area plot. If you see here, it is an area plot. Now I just this. Now see here how many days of profit we got. 17 days of profitable days and 5 days as loss days. 15 days are profitable and 5 are loss. So this is how we get in here. This is how. See, whatever he is showing, this is just this one. Here in the, I am just removing this. I am just putting month of order with it. Or I will remove all of this. I will just try in insert month of order date we had now again I'll insert seventeen profitable days and insert loss days. Okay, now see in fact January 2015 we had 17 profitable days and five lost is right now just changing color is not a big thing the point is if I say profitable this day profitable and I drag it in color the color is changed see changing color is not a big issue that we cannot handle but this is in total what I want to talk to you about the LOD see the point behind the LOD is, is you have to understand where the requirement of LOD is. Now here, looking at this, the difference between these two at the month level, I came to know, okay, when I'm getting, see, I'm getting what I want at the day level. Here at the day level, I'm getting what I want. At the day level, I'm getting what I want. But when I'm doing it at the month level, the aggregation is missing. So I want to hold to that. I want to hold to this level even if this is changed to month. So that is the base for my LOD. So I hope do you get what uh, what uh, what type of thought process went behind uh, the, uh, getting the output that we want. So I will be sharing more of these LODs going ahead. So keep in touch and subscribe if you like it. And also don't forget to share and like. Thank you.